There's a clear need to increase the battery life of mobile and embedded systems and therefore to reduce their power consumption. Now one common way of doing this is through what's known as DVFS, which is Dynamic Voltage and Frequency Scaling. And here the energy saving is obtained by reducing the voltage that that circuit is operating at. As a consequence of this, the circuit runs slower, so it needs to be clocked at a lower frequency, and therefore the performance of that system also decreases. Now some applications run as fast as they can. One example of that might be a, a web browser. Uh, but thinking about it, would it matter if your web browser took one and a half seconds to render a page rather than 1.2 seconds? Probably not. And actually, if that gave you a significant battery saving, uh, that would be uh, a significant benefit to you. Some applications, however, have a fixed deadline that they have to meet. And one example of this is video decoding. So in a video, it's a sequence of frames, and it has to be decoded at a frame rate. And in the UK, that's 25 frames a second. But this deadline is actually what's known as a soft deadline, in that it doesn't matter if occasionally you were to miss that deadline by a small margin, it still wouldn't be perceivable to the user. Now in Prime, we've been investigating ways of, uh, of learning performance requirements at runtime, and then adapting our system's voltage and frequency um, to match those requirements. And we're doing this with power consumption in mind. Now let me show you a short video clip that, that, that demonstrates this. So this video is being played on our test system and using the standard techniques uh, that Linux and Android employ to manage power. And this is that same clip running again, but this time using the power management software that we've developed in Prime. And you can see there's very little perceivable difference, but it's using 20% less energy. So let's take a look in a bit more detail at how that energy saving was obtained. So on your screen here you have the uh, two videos on the left hand side, where bottom left is using the standard Linux approach, that's using the on-demand governor, and top left is using the approach that we've developed in Prime. And on the right hand side there are two graphs, one for the power consumption in milliwatts and the other for performance in frames per second. And we're targeting a, a frame rate of 24 frames a second here. And the blue lines that appear on that graph will be for the, the prime approach, whereas the green line is for that standard Linux approach. And as the video begins, you'll see that at the start, the prime um, video lags behind that of the, the on-demand one slightly. And that's because our approach is learning how long it's going to take to decode these different types of video frame. But after a couple of seconds, it, it is able to um, predict this very well, and it's able to keep up um, with the desired frame rate, and you can see that there's only a few occasions where the, the blue line drops significantly from, from that 24 frames a second rate. So although that prime video took slightly longer to watch, it was decoded in a way that had very little perceivable difference um, to the user and therefore didn't diminish the user experience considerably. But it did this requiring only 12 joules of energy rather than 15 joules of energy. So in other words, uh, a 20% um, saving in, uh, in battery power.